In Dungeons and Dragons, one of the most important choices a dungeon master can make is what type of adventure they will run for their group. Many DMs decide to make homebrew adventures, coming up with their own ideas and situations, sometimes plugging them in to assist existing campaign settings, like the Forgotten Realms, other times creating their own entire worlds. If this sounds like a lot of work, that's because it is. But don't worry, four DMs like me who don't enjoy world creating, or maybe just are a bit tighter on time, there's another option. Wizards of the Coast has published a bunch of exciting and unique pre-made adventures and campaigns, most of which are carried here at the Baltimore County Public Library. These campaign books are perfect ways to give yourself a foundation of material, allowing you to explore and adapt whatever you want for your group. Baltimore County Public Library carries 17 campaigns currently, giving you a lot of options. However, let me highlight a few of my favorites that I have personally played through. First up, we have Tales from Yawning Portal. This is my top recommendation for new players or groups that don't want to commit to a long campaign. Tales takes some of the best adventures from D&D's past and updates them for 5th edition. Each adventure is given its own chapter in the book and is totally separate from the others. Adventures span 1st through 20th level, giving the complete range of the D&D experience. The first two adventures, Sunless Citadel and The Forge of Fury, are some of the best low-level adventures I've ever run. If you want to play higher level, why not try Against the Giants, a dungeon crawl against a variety of giant layers. Or, if you dare, take on The Tomb of Horrors, supposedly one of the most challenging adventures ever made, filled with puzzles and deadly traps. No matter what you want to play, Tales from Yawning Portals has something for you. And the best part is each adventure can be played across just a few play sessions. Next, picture your group exploring through an ancient jungle. In this lost world, dinosaurs still freely roam. Ruins of the previous civilizations are scattered throughout, promising hidden treasures and danger. Something ancient and evil lurks in this jungle, causing an undead plague that is currently sweeping the continent. Hordes of undead attack settlements, while bands of them wander through the wilderness, hoping to feast on the unsuspecting travelers. These are all featured in Tomb of Annihilation. Explore the jungles of Chult while trying to stop a global catastrophe with a sinister cause. This adventure has it all. Amazing dungeons, great treasure, interesting villains, dinosaur races, and even zombie T-Rexes. Featuring an interesting wilderness exploring mechanic, Tomb of Annihilation lets the party freely roam around while trying to solve its deadly mystery. My group loved the mix of city and wilderness encounters and really loved the variety of monsters they faced. This is a long campaign. It took my group a year, but it is well worth it. For my final recommendation, we are going to switch out from the usual heroics of D&D. Instead, prepare yourself for a gothic horror experience, pushing the party to escape the mist-shrouded forest of the villages of Barovia. For my last recommendation, I will be talking about the Curse of Strahd. This is my group's favorite D&D experience from D&D 5th Edition. The Curse of Strahd puts the party into a creepy, horror-filled adventure in the dreaded realm of Ravenloft. If you like horror tropes, this campaign has a lot you'll enjoy, and even more you can build on. Fun encounters with witches, vampires, zombies, ghosts, and werewolves, there is so much here for your group to discover. It also has the best villain I have personally encountered in D&D. Strahd is interesting, has clear goals, and even interacts with the party regularly over the course of the game. The campaign has some really well done mechanics to encourage the party to explore a variety of locations around Ravenloft, but also rewards them for making smart choices and avoiding unnecessary risks. Put on your spookiest playlist, dim the lights, and consider giving Curse of Strahd a try today. Be warned, this campaign is at least a year-long commitment but it is well worth the investment. Those are all the campaigns I have time to discuss here today, but I do want to give three honorable mentions to other campaigns I've liked. Storm King's Thunder, yay, Giants. Ghosts of Saltmarsh, have fun in the ocean. And finally, Rime of the Frostmaiden, great icy adventure. Remember, you can find all of these and more D&D books for checkout at the Baltimore County Public Library. Check out Baltimore County Public Library at bcpl.info. Thanks for watching.